Foreign Service officers are diplomats, oftentimes been in diplomacy for 20, 25, 30 years, and they understand that social media is important. They understand that technology is powerful. They understand that they need to incorporate it into their work, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're comfortable with it or that they know how to do it. And so one of the programs that we built is called the Virtual Student Foreign Service. It's like a reverse internship where we've had more than 350 very talented university students train foreign service officers how to use the tools of the 21st century and how to incorporate technology into tradi traditional diplomatic programs. So that's one sort of gong-banging success that I'm really proud of. A second one is a program that Secretary Clinton launched in Marrakesh, Morocco in, in November of 2009 called Civil Society 2.0. And what we've done with Secretary Clinton's Civil Society 2.0 program is we've taken one of America's undeniable strengths, the strength of our technology and of our, of our innovators, and we've put them to work in service of our diplomatic goals. So what we've done is we've created these things called tech camps, where over a couple days there's very intensive training of grassroots civil society organizations by American technology experts. And this is great because it allows these technology experts the opportunity to sort of give back in a way consistent with their strengths. And it helps the civil society organizations because they are more effective executing against their missions now that they're more savvy about how to harness digital tools. And to date, we've trained more than 800 civil society organizations from 50 countries around the world. This is just an unnuanced success that Secretary Clinton helped bring to the State Department.